Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Buried One. In today's video we're going to be talking about the top 5 tips on getting started with mining. Because these tips are going to be very important for you when you're getting into mining or you want to get started with mining. Because this is so important that many people forget at the start when we're going to start mining and after a while they're starting to figure out that they kind of did it wrong. So I'm going to give you these tips so let's get them going. So my first tip is do your research. That is really important. It's not like you just assemble a mining rig and you're ready to go. No, that is not the point. You will need to do some really good research on about every aspect. So a really important one is your electricity cost. This is fairly simple, just grab your electricity bill and figure out how much dollars you are paying for every kilowatt hours. So knowing your electricity cost is very important. So grab that electricity bill and start calculating. So another big thing that you need to remember is research on what GPU is going to be best on what coin you want to mine. I have made a quick guide on that on the website so you can figure out which are kind of the best for which coin but there are many more coins to be mined and actually there are so many GPUs that are better at some different coins than others that you really have to do your research on that. Also a good thing is to find out where to buy your hardware. Is it more cheap for you to buy it at the local hardware store for computer parts or is it more cheap to go on Amazon and buy them from there? On my website I always assume that you're going to be buying them from Amazon and I also use the targeting links so it will redirect you to the nearest Amazon of your country. So that is more easy for you to get your mining parts and also Amazon has a really nice return policy. If one of your GPUs breaks you can just send them back for free and that is a really good thing. Also one thing that we are building currently is a calculator for which mining rig is actually making the most profit or return of investment at the current rate. So I'm building this Rory project, it's also the same as my name but just wrote a little bit differently and it stands for return of rig investments because that is going to be very important in the future on which mining rig you actually have to build to get your return of investment the fastest. So number two is setting your budget. So this step could make you a little bit more money or get your return of investment faster if you have a larger budget. And I'm going to give you an example here. If you're going to build a four GPU mining rig and you're just going to put four GPUs on there, you kind of bought a motherboard that holds four GPUs. You bought a power supply, a CPU and four or eight gigabytes of RAM. But if you think smart and you're going to build a mining rig base that can hold up to 12 GPUs and you just slam four GPUs on it at the start, you're going to be making more at the end because you don't have to buy the new hardware frames, motherboards, CPUs and RAMs for increasing your mining rig. So instead of buying four or three motherboards, CPUs and RAMs, you can just slam it into a single mining rig and get the same result. This will also give you more efficiency because it doesn't have to run four CPUs or three CPUs at once that also consume power. Also by setting your budget, there is one more very important thing. What are you willing to lose when everything goes wrong? Of course GPUs and TPU mining rigs always have a really nice resale value. Instead of ASIC miners they're kind of not used for anything. But GPUs are always in demand especially for gamers because we kind of stole their GPUs anyway. So we're going to give them back for a very nice price and they're going to be happy too. So worst case what you are willing to lose. Number three is choosing your operation system. For example, most people go for Windows or Windows 10 and this will give you the option to have your familiar operating system that you're used to. It's more easy to set up because you know the platform already, but there's more options. You could use FOS instead or Simple Mining, Hive OS, there is many more to come. But if you're really into getting different kinds of platforms, I would recommend you to look at how big you're going to be doing it. 
because if you're just using five mining rigs, you can just use Windows with no big problem. But if you're going over five mining rigs and you need to monitor more than 10 or 20 mining rigs at once, I would recommend you to go for a operating system that has been designed for mining like FOS or simple mining. Number four is also really important. Ask your friends or our community for help. Well, don't be afraid to ask questions to your friends or to our mining community on Discord, for example. Why is that? Because I'm not really into answering every single common question and that is actually why I'm trying to make videos for you guys to answer most of you guys your question. Because that is the best thing I can do. I cannot do everything privately with you guys, unfortunately. I'm trying to. I have a few guys that help me out on that. But most of the time, just ask your friends or your community where you're gonna be joining in on giving you some help. Number five is very important too. Having some knowledge of computers anyway. I'm not gonna teach you how to start up your windows or how to turn on your computer or how to install your printer. How would you even think to start on mining when you don't know anything about computers? Because most of the time, I get some questions like, hey, I bought all these parts, what do I do now? I have no idea what Windows is about or what is a BIOS? Well, those questions, I don't know, that's really hard to answer because that is basic knowledge for me and no knowledge for you. So make sure you know something about computers before you do this and don't waste your money on it because then you'll have to go to step four and ask your friends or even pay your friends to set up your mining rig. So keep that in mind have some knowledge. And if I might have forgot something in this video, you might comment below like, hey, you forgot this. That's a really important tip as well. Just comment it in the comments below and we will maybe make a next video about this for people to have another video on tips on how to get started on mining or during mining or anything like it. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one.